Good morning, Multiplier. Today we're talking about how we truly look like Christ. How on earth do we look like a man who lived 2,000 years ago before cell phones, computers, uh, cars, I mean, just about everything. What does that even mean? That statement's used so often in the church. People say we need to be like Christ. We need to be like this. We need to be, and what does that mean? Jesus was this guy with the beard to most people who a lot of people talk about, and he seems like he was a good guy. That's what most of us know about Christ. So how do I look like him? All right, so today what we're looking at is a verse in particular in Philippians. Philippians chapter 2, it's verse 5 through 11. So let's take a second and read that. This in mind amongst yourselves. Which is yours in Christ Jesus, who though, who though he was in the form of God, did not count himself equal with God a thing to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the, the, um, the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men, being found in human form, being humbled, uh, uh, he humbled himself beca by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. So what does that mean? What does that mean for us? Here we are, talks about Jesus being a servant, being a, a being God who made himself lesser. What, what does that mean? Being a servant of Christ, that's the fundamental of being a Christian. Now, the first thing we can grasp from this passage of scripture is that Jesus made himself less than what he was. Less than what he was. Basically, what that means is that Jesus was God. He came, he was God when he was born and didn't count himself as equal, but humbled himself to become a man, a servant at that. Jesus wasn't of the wealthy class. He was a, he was a, a carpenter, a workman, a worker. What's that mean? Everybody with the Jews had thought that Jesus was gonna come in and be a triumphant leader, riding in on a stallion to lead them to victory through war and everything else and, and, and to be a, be a king. Jesus was a king, but not like what they'd ever thought before. Jesus, Jesus was a, a, a servant who came in to wage war on the flesh, not on, not on the physical. I mean, he came to wage war on what we are spiritually, not the physical. See, everybody thought that he was going to be this, and he came in to say, to level, to raise the bar. You see, we all thought one way, and Jesus said it needed to be another way. He said, you think, you, I've talked about this before, actually, this week we talked about it, that, that Jesus had talked about how, that, uh, that if you hate your brother, then you've killed him in my eyes. There's so much there. There's so much more of what he elevated the bar to be. So to be like Christ, what does that mean? It means to be a servant, to say, to not to think of yourself higher than you ought, because Jesus had every reason to think of himself as God above everyone else, but he came as a servant. We see that even more so when Jesus washes the feet of the disciples. His ser not servants, but his followers, he humbles himself to wash their feet, to get down and wash the dirt and grime of, of walking all day long. I'm sure they were not clean feet, but to humble himself to be a servant. So if we're to be like Christ, how in the world can we be like Christ and think of ourselves better than anyone? You see, Jesus held, held one thing in, in sanctity in a lot of senses. That was, that was God, the, the, the temple, stuff from there. Everything in that was the, was the sacred thing. The rest of it, he talked about when he, when he ate with the sinners and in the tax collectors. He's like, I, a doctor comes for the sick, not for the well. He comes to help. And so that's the thing. We get so caught up in our personal ambitions and desires that we miss the fundamental of being a Christian, which is servanthood. Being a little Christ is to be a servant. That's the most fundamentally important thing we can do. Be a servant. So today you're thinking to yourself, what am I going to do with myself? What am I supposed to do? Or maybe you've just, it's one of those things you've been thro throwing around your mind for a while. Like, what does that even mean to be like Christ? Be a servant. It's so important, so fundamental. Be a servant. That's it. That's the easy part. Just whenever you think to yourself, what am I supposed to do or how am I supposed to get there? Servant. 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 It's that easy. So tell me, guys, what are you thinking today? Where are you at? What, what does that make sense? Is that you agree? What are you thinking up in those brains of yours? Comment down below and let me know because I want to hear about it. I do. That's what we're here for. And guys, if you like this video, I really hope you did. Hit that thumbs up button, okay? Because we're here, we're putting this stuff together, I, working hard to keep these videos coming up. The, the schedule has changed a little bit. We're uploading kind of 
whenever we can in a day, not necessarily at 5 a.m. like we're hoping to before uh, with my new schedule. But don't worry, we'll get back to more normalcy. But for right now, they're kind of just scattered out there. But I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you like this video. And uh, if you do want to see more, hit that subscribe button if you're new. And, and that way you see all our content right away. I'll let you know. And I think that's it for today. So I will see you next time. My name is Dan. And this is Multiply Media. God bless. We'll see you next time, all right?